Hey guys, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I want to talk about Horizon Forbidden West for a few minutes. Um, it appears that Digital Foundry has said that this is the best looking game this year. I have not personally seen that video yet, but uh, we were doing a stream earlier and a lot of people were coming to the stream and uh, and I I I want to I I want to I want to agree with that <laughs> for the most part. When when you look at everything that's come out this year, um, now I, I I don't know if I would say that when the game first came out, I would I would have been a little bit more standoffish about it just because of the fact that it didn't really look um, that great in the performance mode. But since the since the patches and since all the work that Guerrilla Games has has done to 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 really fix the the overall image quality. Of this game, yeah, man, I will. I will give that. I, I, I can. I can agree with that. I can, one hundred percent say that this game is beautiful. Now, they've they fixed it. They've made it. Um, they've made it a much better experience. Uh, in in terms of visual quality, um, the vegetation is packed, very dense. Um, the just the particle effects that you get in this game are pretty much second to none in overall um for for the most part um now there will be um there will be another another game in this in this video as well where we're, we're going to talk about the game that i feel is the second best looking game this uh this generation but i wanted to take a few minutes and and really uh this is plain song this is one of the most beautiful places in Horizon Forbidden West. As you can see, the character quality is extremely high poly. Um, there's this game. I, th I kind of feel like this game got f cheated out of a few, out of a few, um, out of a few, uh, out of a few awards this year. I feel like this game is a lot better than God of War on every level, visuals, everything. Like this game here is much better. But this is an open world game. And open world games are sometimes hard for people to really get into and digest, uh, especially when when they when they got a heavy story focus like this one. Because Elden Ring was a pretty easy pick for game of the year for a lot of people, and there's a lot of reason for that. But I do feel like because I scored this game pretty high, I gave this a 90 in my review this year because um, I really did. I really did enjoy this experience for the most part. Like it was, it was pretty fun. It was, it was a, it, it, it was a, it was a fun experience. And this is post, like my review came for this game post all the fixes. I slogged through this game at 30 frames a second. Uh, and while I would have much rather played that this at 60, I, I am able to play it at 60 now. And yeah, anybody that plays this game going forward, anybody that picks this up, you know, after the patches and plays it forward is going to have an amazing experience. Uh, Plain Song is not the only beautiful spot, but Plain Song is pretty high up there in terms of in terms of visual quality, um, forest density, vegetation density. What is this dude seeing me? Yeah, he is. The water quality of this game is so beautiful. So we're gonna walk around for a minute, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at some of this stuff because I want people to see. Even though like there's the fog and everything out there, the way they the way that this game looks on close inspection holds up holds up pretty dang well. And if you're using and you have multiple modes now, you can get the 40 FPS at 30 frames a second. Uh, you you can get the uh, like look at that down there. Gosh, that looks pretty decent. You can you can swim basically anywhere now. Can we go underwater here? Oh yeah, see like the water quality on here just looks so so nice. I wish this game would have came out a lot more. Uh, a lot more oh look at this man i'm still finding freaking secrets which is pretty cool like 
that's that's pretty nice. Still finding walls to like go through and stuff. The ripples on the top of the water, underwater. It is it it is a very nice game to look at. You can yeah, okay, so this is a cliff wall. Uh, that's one thing that I wish that they would have had in here. I would have liked to have been able to just climb wherever I wanted to, whenever I wanted to, like in Assassin's Creed type games, but at the end of the day, I don't think it negatively impacted my experience for, <clears throat> for Horizon Forbidden West. Go, my friend. Because now I've got a riding. I can fly wherever I want to go now. I actually do agree. If people think that this here is the uh, the the best looking game this year, I, I do agree with that. I do agree with that, 100%. So now we are going to jump over to the second game that I believe is is on that list. Get back over here, plain song. No, this place is just so beautiful. The weather, um, the rain, or, or the weather does in fact does in fact um, uh, increase the fog or decrease the fog in in uh, certain areas. So it's not always as foggy. So just so just so you're aware of that, sometimes it's not as foggy as this. Sometimes it's nice and bright and wide open. So, all right, let's get on to our second game for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home menu and then we are going to go right on over here to Callisto Protocol. These two are the best looking games this year. By far, by far. I mean, I guess you could. This one, this one here, is more of a realistic, a lot more realistic looking. So that's why I put this one on there. This actually just got updated as well. So we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of we'll do a little bit of combat in here. I'll do a new experience. Do that. Performance mode. Wait. Does that say performance mode off? Let's see, we'll just watch this first this first little thing. Like this game looks so incredible. I fast forward this. Such a beautiful, beautiful game. So high. I mean, these particle effects in here are so high. The visuals just look so, so nice. <clears throat> now, if this is in 30 FPS mode, I haven't looked at 30 FPS mode, but yeah, I guess you could kind of see like the ray tracing and stuff. These visuals look so clean. You got a job to do. This is Callisto Hangar Control to you, JC Caron. You have cleared the security perimeter. Roger, Hangar Control. Laying in course for Europa Station. You got something to say? You're going to keep flicking that thing all day. 
The visuals on here, man. This cutscene is so beautiful. So freaking beautiful. I'm done talking about it. And what do you want me to say? Well, thank you. If this is what the visuals of next gen are gonna get start to look like, wow, we are in for a treat. I guess so. Come on, man. What is this? Huh? Back and forth, Callisto to Europa, all this additional security. It's a prison moon, Max. They take their security pretty serious. And what about the attacks? Huh? How do you explain that? What, by the outer way? They've been hitting targets all over the sector for the past six months. We got a yellow light in the cargo hold. That's probably nothing. Well, it's still worth checking out. You shouldn't worry so much, you know? You live longer. Uh. Port and starboard sensors are both showing errors. Like, look at yeah, these. I'm going. Incredible looking visuals on this game. Now it does look this good all through the game. Like there's there's never one spot in this game where I was like, ooh boy, that looks off. So that's this is one of those games that like gets that like um dang that was beautiful the whole way through type deal. And it was uh, very, very beautiful. Very, very nice looking game all the way through. Be worth the trouble. I should check out the rest of the ship. Dang. Like, just look at these freaking corridors and these hallways and stuff. It just looked so incredible playing through here. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess I'll check the other side. Is that ray trace? Oh no, it's not. This feels like it's 60 frames a second. It doesn't feel like it's 30 frames. So... I don't know, I still haven't even seen the ray tracing on this game. Max, we got trouble. What's up? We've been boarded. Yeah, I'm guessing. Dang, dude, I do not like it how it talks through that little speaker in the PlayStation controller, though. It's kind of annoying. so loud when it does that dampening field still in effect but this is a game that like you could play through like a couple times how should i know anything nothing yet almost out of time down that camera shake is probably the smartest thing I ever did. I did not really like that <laughs> too much. This is so beautiful looking. Mayday, 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 this is 
QJC Karen! Returning to Callisto! Requesting emergency clearance! Negative, UJC Karen. You are not authorized for re-entry. Sorry, but I got no choice! We're coming in hot! Boost the antigraphs! Already at maximum! We're not gonna make it! Yes, we are! Watch out! Hold on! Oh dang! So incredible looking. Ah, uh, I wish I was like into a spot, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right now. But these are my two favorite looking games this uh, this year: Horizon Forbidden West and Callisto Protocol. These games both looking beautiful, and I believe they are both worth playing. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.